Hi guys, welcome to Brains and the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're old but goody, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. If you guys are wondering why I'm set like this, it's because I'm using natural lighting, so I need all the light I can get. But anyways, today we are going to be talking about a Port Antonio student that actually walked the runway for Gucci. So, and as you guys know, a lot of people are boycotting Gucci because of the blackface thing that they did recently even Spice came out and said she's no longer supporting Gucci because she normally spends a lot of money in Gucci because you yeah, know Spice love her Gucci and she says she's also boycotting Gucci me no buy Gucci so this doesn't apply to Montclair any of these high-end luxury brands not that I can't afford it because I make good money but is not something that I want. I rather save my money. Okay, honestly, truly, I rather save my money. I was just looking at a Benz the other day and saying that if I actually wanted that Benz, I could have gotten it. But I, I'm not a person that like fancy, flashy things. I feel like it just bring unwanted attention and people for people to bad mind. You're jealous and get jealous of you and envy you. Basically, that's my thoughts and opinions on that but anyway it says saint international model winston lawrence is generating a buzz after making his runway debut at milan fashion week the lanky 18 year old port antonio high student whose metro rap metric rise from ordinary rural school teen to a hot new face in the fashion world seemingly overnight has been dizzy as it's inspiring milan italy was nowhere lawrence envisioned he could have been before he was scouted by saint international star model anita moore at his school last October. Being booked exclusively to walk for Gucci right from Jamaica on Milan Fashion Week opening day last Wednesday was even farther from the mind of the 18 year old. But in the supermodel making a orbit of Dwight Peters led Saint, Lawrence hit the fast lane into glamorous global fashion industry with the most of stars. Speaking with the Loop News from Milan, which marked his first plane trip outside of Jamaica, the newly minted model star is still ecstatic over making his debut on Italian runway for one of the biggest fashion brands. I feel amazing. I was a bit nervous at first, but I prayed and then I got so confident. I couldn't wait to hit the runway. Lawrence recalled of his catwalk debut where he rocked look 37 in Gucci's creative director, Alessandro Michele's 87 piece fall winter 2019 collection. Doing Gucci, I have had a taste of luxury fashion and now I want the whole meal of international modeling after I have finished high school, declared the avid football loving teen who relishes playing the sport. The experience of walking in the show was great because I developed self-confidence and a better personality through the rehearsals and interacting with other models from around the world. One of the five children of his carpenter father and educator teacher, Lawrence, who calls Anchovy Portland home, is proudly a mama's boy. I love her so much, I can't even begin to explain, as she always, she is always there for me and extra supportive. He beamed when recalling his family monarch. Lawrence sings high praises of Saint CEO Dwight Peters, who has seasoned hat of creating fashion stars and now considering Peter as a de facto paternal figure. He truly is like a father and a teacher and rolled into one. I also think he is a prophet because he did tell me I was a Gucci guy, Lawrence told Loot News of their initial meeting. Still in a Milan at the request of his agency, Why Not Models, the adolescent is loving international fas fashion capital city where he has made fast friends with models from Singal, Denmark, Poland, France, and Miami. I have 
developed an appreciation for Italian tradition and the rich history here. I love that everyone I have met speaks more than one language, he said. Peter expressed confidence in Lawrence's abilities to go all the way in international fashion. He's not just he's not just a stunning face, but his positive at attitude and eagerness to learn and soak up as much information as possible about the industry is remarkable and refreshing, Peter said. He can have a long career ahead of him if he maintains focus and a good work ethic. Summarize Peter, who also applaud the interest and support that is taken by Lauren's mom. When I found him, his international potential was evident, and so I asked his mom if he had a passport, and she said no, and I instructed her to get it as quickly as possible. I didn't tell her the surprise to come, Peter fondly recalls. The problem of Jamaican teens without passport is something the same CEO identifies as a common challenge. Notwithstanding with interest and sufficient pick, the Gucci team flew Peters and his new male model star to Italy for the last week's show. Lauren's mother, basic school educator Sophia Richards, is beside herself in excitement at her son's refound stardom. I'm so elated as his accomplishment and happier because he's someone who is always pushing himself to do better, she revealed. Adding the teenager is always quick with words of encouragement for he and he is encouragement for him and is helpful. Lawrence is the latest addition to Peter's canon of Gucci stars, saying stars Helen Blackwood too was booked exclusively from Jamaica last year by the Rocks model maker to walk the iconic Italian labels fall winter 2018 show and subsequently became a Gucci girl appearing in several global advertising campaigns and on their e-commerce platform Saint Kai Newman has also appeared on the runway a number of times for Gucci so congratulations is in order for Lawrence okay Winston is doing his thing. I like seeing Jamaican youngsters doing big things, especially on the international front. We get so much flack on different things, whether it's crime and violence, whether it's how our people are. But it's nice to see somebody stepping out and stepping into stardom, especially in Italy, especially in like a fashion industry, which is dominated by what I feel is the Caucasian standard of beauty I like to see someone black in that thread okay so congratulations to Lawrence and his family I hope he walks plenty more runway even go to New York Miami wherever his talent takes him congratulations and good luck to you like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Deuces.